This is what Logan does, and uh, we plan three kingdoms. Total War is a series I really like, and Three Kingdoms is very good. Mm, I decided I wanted to play as the Bandit Queen because she gets these really cool axe units. Like, one of them's a bow axe unit that, is, that can basically stealth anywhere. Alright, let's look at options. We're going to turn this up to hard. Do advisor help? None. And then we're playing on romance mode. Wait, I want to make sure I have extreme units turned on. Um, I honestly don't know where you do that at. Unit size, extreme. All right. Changes that. I have all my stuff in Chinese, not all the text and stuff, but like all the voices are all in Chinese just cause like thought it sounded cooler. Right, I don't think there's any other things I want to change. Romance mode. A lot of people like playing on records mode. I just don't like it. Because I like romance mode better. Because, like, characters are all cool. I don't want them to just, like, sit back with their bodyguards. Alright, hopping in. <laughs> Dongjuan 定会趁此大事而崛起，整个天下终将纳入，终将囊中。Alright, so from what you saw from that little intro, she wants to claim all of China. Well, all the characters do, but well, some of them don't. 出兵镇压黄巾军，虽获全胜，乱局如故，天下之祸乃在其心。忠臣良将们杀进宫中，杀时长逝，清除天下祸源。I fell down in it. But ever since then, it's been creaking. Just kind of tipped over. It's really taking a long time to load. I usually don't get this. Alright. We're jumping in. Huangdu Luoyang, Yiran Bei Dong Zhuo, Fen Wei Hui Ji. The game's really pretty. Xuan Gui Pi Fu Xiang Hu Sha Fa. Chen Shi Rang Wo Jiu Deng Le. There's the big dong. Dong Zhuo Zheng Xie Han Di, Xi Tao Er Qu. Zi Ren Ding Shi Ren Ren Deng Er Zhu Zhi. Alright, 
克峻黄金风起，寓意报还大仇，打破枷锁。正所谓旧土已绝，大厦将倾，百姓揭竿而起，诸侯毫无还手之力。攻伐天下就在此时，如今天下疲敝，狼心狗行之徒各怀鬼胎。若欲寻得金玉功名，何不进取烽烟中寻？正将待往，风云变幻之际，务必把握时机，攫取功名。All right. Well, I'm not gonna auto resolve this first battle. She's one of the characters that doesn't start with any provinces, so. Probably gonna go take this tool maker right after I fight this guy. Well, first I want to see. So I just gotta kill him, then I get. Wait, what's this give me? Taste of victory plus 30 military supplies and plus five morale for three turns. It's pretty good. Um, basically just kill the Han. Battle axe minus nine expertise plus 15 resolve. All right, so they already don't like each other. He's probably, yeah, you can click on all these little tabs, like each one does something different. Like this is your factions that you've seen, your commanderies, which we have none right now. Your different armies. And then these are your characters. And characters in the armies, you have to make sure they like each other for them to perform good and Hopefully he doesn't leave me. Cause that would not be good. All right. Yeah. All for them. Now let's. I want to try to get him up to a legendary. Oh, actually, no. He might leave us, so I'm not gonna risk it, anything like that. So we're just gonna go to her. She's good with resolve because she's a champion. So I'll explain what all the classes do whenever we get to that. Alright. Um. His sword does good for right now. We didn't really get any armor. Well, we'll give him this for the satisfaction for right now. That will maybe help. It got his satisfaction up a little bit. But not enough to really matter. And then we got this battle axe for her, but... It's like barely weaker, which is sad because this is like a legendary unique item. All right, enough talking. Let's get into the battle. Even though it's like there's no way I would lose, I still want to just try out these axe units. I really like what they did with the loading screens because like instead of just sitting here waiting for a battle you actually get to see them talking and stuff and sometimes the enemy generals will like start trash talking and then they just like go back and forth I really don't know what's going on with the loading times. I wonder if it's because I'm recording. So usually my loading times are pretty fast. I could cut it out, I guess. But I'm not that good at editing right now. And by not that good, I mean I have no experience whatsoever. So. We'll see whenever I get there. I'm 
recording at a high quality, so it's probably slowing it down a lot. Hopefully, the video's not lagging, because that wouldn't be good. I was going to try to make this video like 30 to 40 minutes long, but all of it's going to be loading screens, so. I don't know. Alright. Let's get into the battle. So these are her little axe units that also have bows. And they have vanguard deployment and they can stealth anywhere. So I could just like put them anywhere and they wouldn't be seen. Hopefully not. But we're just going to leave them in the group for right now because I don't want to risk losing them doing something stupid. So, group up. I'm just going to do like a little shielded line at the front. And then... Yeah, I'm just going to charge them. They have archers and stuff, but... I don't really care. They have like two units of archers. So if I storm them fast enough, it'll be fine. Put her right there and send her after the enemy general. Then we'll just put these right back here. I'm actually gonna turn off. Oh, is there not a thing for it? Uh, I never actually went into this. Right here. Um. Default skirmish now. Uh, we'll turn on alternate unit cards because I think those look cooler than just like the whited out infantry. Yeah, we're just gonna start right here. I forgot to group up. Well, we're just gonna put them all in one big group. And then just march them up. Actually, I'm falling back some. So. We'll see if she if he wants to duel. Oh, he can't duel because he's a strategist. Well, anyway, it's just archers, so I'm just gonna charge her right on in. Yeah, we're just gonna charge in our units we don't get the chance yeah this boy's dead or he could just run into his troops, that's cool too. I'm waiting for a splash damage ability to come up, but it's just not coming up. I didn't send in my other general. I'll send him in there. Oh, there's no reason to do this if they're running, they're running. Because, like, this is one of the starting armies, so they're not even going to come back anytime. I mean, y'all can switch to bows. Start firing. Sure, that's going to do a little bit of friendly fire, but it's alright. And then the splash damage attack. Yep. 
Why haven't we won the battle? Oh, he came back. Chase him down. And then he instantly ran away. Why would he even come back? Oh, I didn't mean to click that. In battle. We lost units, but it was probably from friendly fire. And also because I just kind of like ran my units at archers. Alright, so I can capture him actually. He's almost distinguished instinct. Increases ambition to gain independence. Ooh. Well, um... I'll actually employ him. And then... We didn't really take any damage, so... I'll get this military supply. Taste of victory. Okay, no, we're taking this town first. Okay. Mission issued. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to attack it right now. Um, I could just starve him out, but that would take six turns, so we're just gonna go ahead and start the battle. So we're going to try something daring and probably stupid. But they should be cloaked. And towers really tank down um, heroes. So you don't want to mess around with towers whenever you have your heroes leading. So we're going to put a nice little, like... We're just going to do this. Yeah. And then put the archers behind. Alright. Well, actually, we'll put these two boys in a group. Put the archers in a group. Put the heroes in a group. And, uh, you can join these boys as group. And then y'all will be group four. I didn't mean to hit control on them. So we're going to sneak these boys in. Let's just see if this works. I hope it does. Because we can just capture the town. I'm pretty sure that... Oh no, that's not the town. Never mind. Okay. 
So we're just gonna go for a straight up rush. That's probably a much better way to do this. Send them to attack them. And then once everything's like all well and good, we'll put them on walk. So they're not getting there and getting murdered. Yep, it worked. Tower didn't even hit them, they didn't take any damage. Get in there. They like halfway captured the tower, then just stopped. Yeah, our axes are just getting wrecked. This was a terrible decision. We just gotta get in there and capture the tower. That's all we gotta do. Yeah, I made a bad decision here. Alright. Capture this tower. Then we're all good. I really don't want her getting in one on one combat. But then this guy has an ability that has a 20 second duration of melee evasion 50%. So we're gonna pop that. So then our boys. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Oh. Get out and dismount your horse first. And then charge in. And dismount your horse and then you charge in. And then we'll bring them around from the side and attack from behind. Alright. There's going to be a little bit of friendly fire happening right here. Actually, I'll just keep attacking the archers. That's probably the best decision I can make. Our men have been discovered. Oh, boy. I'll just go shoot them. Then we'll send our archers. They barely have any ammo left. No, you don't go attack that. Have we lost? Yeah, we've, we've lost a lot of units. This is a very hard start. <laughs> and also, I'm making dumb decisions. Alright, toggle melee mode. We need y'all over there. Go in. Get the melee evasion chance. Ooh, I am not doing too good here. Oh, yeah, and those towers are wrecking my heroes. I wish my heroes, I mean my units would come back. Alright, we're gonna have to just send y'all in. We have like no frontline infantry right now. And all I have is archers. So. Oh, actually I got a mission for the archers. Y'all go up here and capture this. Okay, 
my units are just gone. Why can't they capture this? I played that very poorly. I should have waited and recruited some units. And also maybe not have just marched my units right in there. That was also a bad decision. This was rough. Yeah, we lost a lot of boys. Um, that's not really going to give me anything but infamy. Oh, screw it. Playing as the bandit queen, I might as well just steal from people. Your economy grows. Alright. So you got an upgrade. Plus an armor for all spear units. Enables guerrilla deployment. Ooh. I kind of want to get this tree right here. And also, this is pretty good. It adds armor and also income. So that's pretty good. Okay. And then a war glaive. Land shaper. And then a battle axe. Okay. Oh, is it just the same stuff that I got before? It shouldn't be. It says I got a new land shaper. Axes just have so much armor piercing that it's unbelievable. So, I'm just going to keep those on. There's nothing else I can get for her. I'll use my money to go ahead and repair this. And then, in turn. So this wasn't... What well, exactly what I wanted to happen, but still won, still got the town, didn't lose any complete units. It was just rough. Alright, so I can make this a normal town. Give me building, spot, building slots and reserves, but I really want to upgrade my army right now. I kind of need some more. What does she give me? Alright. So, Wisdom of the River. Melee evasion and armor minus 100% for enemies. Okay. Enables night battles and fire arrows. Okay, yeah, I want her, because, like, I've already seen the other guy's stats, and they were not that good. So, yeah, we're going to confirm that, get her. And I can either get trebuchets, or I can get some more bow infantry. I have 60 income, so I can't get anything, but it's all right. Alright, I'm gonna get one unit of this front line. And then disband this unit. Okay, so they were just coming back, so that did absolutely nothing. I didn't know that would happen. So now I am weaker than before. Well, this much is not going to hurt me for one turn. Because I'm about to get a tool maker. And also, I'm going to be getting some income 
from my settlements being built back up. All right, they got built back up, but it did nothing. Okay. Characters. What does he have? Okay, he has low satisfaction, but I really don't care. Because I'm probably not going to use him. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a bad general, so I don't... It's, I should care about it, but I don't. Alright, we should probably get moving. In turn, instead of going completely to the tool maker right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get a reform. So, envoys. That will give me a trade agreement, which I don't think I have any slots right now. Income from commerce. Comes coming from family estates. Population growth, military supplies, construction costs. Hmm. All right. We might just go ahead and get this. So that we'll start making money whenever we get peasants. Because, like, right now we're hurting for money. So the sooner we can get money, the better. Alright. I'm going to neg negotiate with him. See what we can do. Okay, yeah, we can't. Are we at war with it? Oh, no, no, I clicked on the wrong faction. Okay. Alright. Make this work. So we pay him once? No. I'll give you... Hmm. I'm not really willing to sell off a glaive, never mind. I'll just let the poverty strike. We'll get one more turn of mustering and then we are going to attack come on there we go wasn't clicking on her all right Okay, we're going to do this as a night battle because the enemy army will not receive reinforcements. The spotting ability is diminished and they have low morale. Which sounds like something we really need right now. This will probably be the last battle of this episode and then I'll end it. Ugh. 
See, they're fighting because they don't like each other. I think that's really cool that they have something like that in this game. Oh, I just looked at my mic because I thought that it had not been on the entire time. That would have been rough. Come on. It's almost there. Okay, so they got towers right there, towers right there. Oh, I was hoping these boys could shield wall. They're good frontline infantry though. Alright, we're going to go in from up here. Or, we can use all of our archers. Oh, it's just her archers, okay. We can use our archers to burn down their towers. It will take a long time, but it might be useful somewhat. Then we're going to do the same strategy with these boys again. Rush him in from behind. Alright, to get her. Him. Her. Group them. Wait a second. Group them. Group them, and then group them. Okay. I think we're ready to start this battle. This is a dumb idea. Oh, while they're focusing on the archers, just push all boys in. You, of course, go right here. Switch to normal arrows. Oh. 
you all get right here. Oh god, they've got Cav. Y'all just get right here then. She has that melee evasion buff, so I'm gonna wanna get her up there. Ooh, no, the spears get them. What are you doing? Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Melee evasion chance. And then apply her debuff. Break the morale. Yeah, just break the morale. Yep. My tactics are not the best, but I'm efficient. Right. I thought maybe we could get our um okay. okay that will give us some income uh. I'm gonna disband this archer unit. Yeah, I know, I'm becoming bankrupt. What <laughs> I'll just ban one of these two. Alright, that's giving us pretty good income. Okay. His satisfaction is getting lower and lower. She's our faction heir. Hmm. I don't have any 
administer. Oh my gosh. Can't talk. I don't have any spots for administrators. Okay. Well, this has been episode one. I hope y'all liked it. I'm going to be continuing. I'm going to go ahead and save. All right. Well, thank you for watching. It's been Logan Does. See you later.